hello, hello, my kittens. Welcome to a random gameplay stream of the Zoo. Now, we're just going to have a fun, chill time, continuing with the story, which is essentially challenges of taking over already built zoos, whether it be getting more animals in the zoo, uh, more exhibits, building, and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to be continuing, chilling, chatting, building and exploring the game, really, learning it together. But I'm having so much fun with this. I am super addicted, really enjoying it. Planet Coaster and Planet Zero has been an absolute life useful and salve for my soul. As you can see, it's a no place to strain once again. I just want to hang out, relax, and not worry about anything. So if you're here, I appreciate you. If you're chilling, I appreciate you. If you're lurking, if you're chatting, love, love. Oh, and I hope you've all had a fantastic day. Uh, I've been working all day actually. I've been looking at... Well, I've been kind of looking at models really. It's essentially either a PNG model. Uh, audio is a bit loud compared to your voice. It probably won't be that way when I jump into the game. Let's go in. Hopefully you can still hear what I'm saying. I am sitting further back than I normally would when using face cam, so I can see it as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go. Here we go. The music will fade out now. <laughs> so hopefully it sounds okay. Is that better? Let me know. The splash screen is always so much louder than everything else. So this is a zoo that I've taken over in basically the equivalent of story mode. It's essentially a story mode. It's teaching you mechanics of the game. So this is a little bit into the game and I've pretty much had to build everything myself really. The only thing that was here were this around here. Um, some pathing all the way up, but these enclosures, well, habitats, I've built myself. And this one, and also the two over there. But I keep building my areas for the animals way too big for what they actually need. I suppose it's difficult to know, really. I don't know, I'm still learning the game. I don't know if there's a way, while building the, the wall, for you to know how big it is. Because the only way I've seen how to know how big an enclosure is, is by clicking on it and go into this one here which tells you the land area of the enclosure which is way too big for them they don't need this much space but yeah whatever it's not my actual park it's just a campaign park so i'm not worrying too much about that right now planet ggk hello <laughs> was it really difficult to hear me at the start of the stream defender or could you still hear me I feel like I should probably go over a few things. Anyway, welcome in everybody if you couldn't hear me, sorry. Yeah, it seems like this game is much louder than Planet Coaster because we can leave Planet Coaster on the slash start screen and it's fine, but on this game it's much louder, the music. So there we have it. <laughs> and then when you come into the actual gameplay, it's fine. So right now I'm on the gold challenge of this zoo, which is to have seven habitat species in the zoo. I've currently got six and earn a yearly profit of $10,000. So I'm pretty close, like over halfway really on the earnings. I just need one more animal in the habitat. Now habitats must not be confused with exhibits. Exhibits are these, which are essentially for the smaller animals like snakes, frogs, spiders, and things like that. Um, and then obviously this is for the larger animals. I am actually just going to quickly turn my light off because it's kind of dark and <sighs> normally I don't stream the light on but there we go, I can actually see it a lot better now, that's better. Do you want to see my wolf cubs by the way? My little cuties, my little cutie patooties. My animals keep breeding, it's insane. I might need to start giving them contraceptive <laughs> because they're just breeding left and right. I have got some little wolf cubs somewhere. Let's see if I can find them. Where are they? 
Oh, to you too, little cutie. Don't tell me they've grown off. Don't tell me they've grown up. I can't find them. They're probably hiding. They're quite small because they are cubs, so they're probably hiding in the grass somewhere. Alright, let's go to my animals. <laughs> See if I can find them this way. Yeah, these keep breeding as well, these Amazonian giant centipedes. I've got a ridiculous amount of centipedes now. Centipedes coming out the wazoo. Anyways, let's find my... Oh, I've got a, um, I've got a bear cub, although he's five years old now, so he's actually probably like a teenager. He looks a bit bigger on his profile picture now. He used to be a cub, but he's not anymore. So he's a teenager now. And oh no, the babies have grown up. I can't actually show you my wolf cubs anymore. They've grown up. But I do have two alphas there. Olivia and Embry are my alphas. So it wouldn't surprise me if she gets Fregle Rant again. Because she is... Yeah, she, she's probably going to breed again. I had two cubs though. Who were they? Waylon, I think... Was it Waylon? Yeah, Waylon and also Emma were the cubs because they're the youngest. So they're, they're, they're fully grown now, basically. Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to show you my babies, but they've grown. They grow up so fast. <laughs> and I've got these as well. These bread, and look how many of these I've got. Which... Oh my, oh my god, how many? When did they, they must have had a second lot of babies and I've not realised. Okay, that is not good because the enclosure should only have one to seven. So I probably need to get rid of some. So let's just go back and do that because otherwise they'll get really unhappy and they'll be like, there's too many in here, it's crowded. I've got no space to swing my antennae around. Actually, they don't have antennae. Or do they have antennae? Are they classed as antennae? I don't know. Feel feel a rods. <laughs> I don't know why they are. Right, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, okay, so I'll get rid of a couple then. I don't I don't want to keep I don't want to keep breeding, so I'm probably going to get rid of some of the older ones, I think. I don't know when the cl Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right, okay, so adult, 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 I see. Elderly. Right, I'll get rid of some adults, and I think I'm going to release them to the wild, because you get points for releasing them to the wild, whereas you get money for quick trading them, so if you're low on cash, you can always sell your animals but you shouldn't release to the wild if they're babies because they can't fend for themselves i don't know if you get a punishment for releasing babies to the wild but just don't do it because it's not nice and just yeah you can sell you can sell babies or adults so if you want money you can sell both of them really but i am going to release some to the wild some that are adults all right i'm gonna keep one male And a couple of females, I think. So they can breed again because these would be some good money makers. So let's let's release these to the wild. Oh my god, it only gives me four points. I've not done this yet, so that's done. I just kept selling them because I needed the money. <laughs> I've been all over the show with work and life. Haven't we all? Haven't we all? Shall I get back onto what I was saying earlier? Because I, I totally got like sidetracked. So I've been looking at models to use for streams like this where I don't want to use face cam. Because y'all know how I've been feeling recently. So I've been looking at some cheap pre-made ones. But my god, so many of them use AI. At least they're being honest about AI. But... Obviously, 
I don't really want to support that, so I'm trying my best to find one that isn't AI. There is one that I bought that was on sale, which is a cat. I think, I, I pretty much think I linked this on Discord previously of the one that I was considering. Because I can make it look almost identical to Lewis, our channel mascot. Um, and then we could just say it's no longer Lewis, it's actually me. And the emotes still make sense rather than me buying new emotes. <laughs> so that that is a pen t uh, potentially something I'm going to do. Although part of me is tempted to make a red car or a golf car because, you know, <laughs> that's that's more me, isn't it, really? We'll see. And then I was looking at some cat girls as well, but all the ones I actually liked were again made with AI, so I didn't really want to get them. Right, let's get rid of them and see where we're at. Young adults. Okay, now a couple more lads I'll get rid of. I want to try and keep a young female and, you know, young male basically that isn't really old. So that's a young male. I'll keep that female. Get rid of that male. Get rid of that male. I'll keep these two females and I might keep one more male because they can have one to seven in the enclosure so give me that money nice excellent lovely jubbly Oh my god. Defender, I was really wondering what you were talking about. Don't incest breed pretty quick. <laughs> I just thought, I can't be right. I can't be right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? That was weird. The game has never done that before. Um, But yeah, correction, I just realised that my previous post says... I meant to type insects. I don't know. <laughs> Animal welfare has attracted protesters. Who is unhappy? Animals stressed. These keep getting stressed, and I don't know why. I think it's because the glass is not one way, but I don't have access to more glass at the minute. So I was doing some research to get the next level. Um, which is barriers. So he was already on that, so that's all I can do. I'm sorry, they're all going to get stressed. I'm probably going to die from stress. There's nothing I can do about it, really. And so I can get one-way glass, and then they're not going to be as upset. So over here, I've got my little exhibits. In here, I've got a yellow anaconda. This one is the Titan Beetle, which are the ones we just sold. All the babies and some of the adults. This one is the Amazonian Giant Centipede and this one is the American Bullfrog. This game is so in-depth though, because like with these little exhibits you can do research and upgrade them. So see that back image? I actually was able to research the exhibit and then upgrade it. So now I've got more rocks, that lamp, and then also I can like close certain sides of the box and put nice artwork on. So I've closed the sides that attach basically. Which is really cool. Okay, so basically now I want to get my seventh species. Um, so I'm going to bring up the market and see what's available. See what's n not too complicated. This is new actually, I don't think I've had this before. 
Ugh, it can't share space with anyone else. See, I'm trying to find ones that can spare, share space with the uh, animals I've already got. Which is no one, really. So, yeah. Okay, let's have a look and see what the giant tortoise needs. So, the giant tortoise needs 230 meter squared land and only grade one boundary. That's really easy. So I might actually do this because it doesn't need much space whatsoever. So I am gonna go ahead and preemptively get these turtles. Sorry, tortoise. <laughs> Someone would be like, it's a tortoise, Kylie. Not a turtle. How many can get? One to four, up to one male and up to three females. Okay. Well, I can get all of these females then. Okay, so now they're going to go to storage. And basically I can start making my enclosure, which I think a good spot for this might actually be next to the peacocks that I just got. Not unless I want to save that water, actually. I could do it here. That's probably enough room for them, you know. Hi! Lord, welcome in. I am good, how are you today? My local zoo never had an insect or reptile house. That is a shame. That is such a shame. I'm probably going to use the hedge for this, honestly. gonna make this long and narrow. I don't know if this is gonna be big enough so I'm gonna have to build it first to see. I want to get this edge cl as close to the barrier as I can. Uh, well, the path edge as I can, because that's where I'm going to put the viewing glass, basically. That's that. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. That should be enough, actually. But what I am going to do is I think I'm going to halb it just so it can be closer to the edge. Locked up on life. management you know this is a zoo so you can do all sorts of cool things have different animals have baby zoos and stuff like that i bet yeah everyone's going mad about those red alerts right now my research isn't finished though or is it oh no okay research completed american bison and the q fever which is actually a disease that i've got previously uh, last night and that was because I accidentally did the wrong breed wall and the animal broke out and spread a disease. Yay! <laughs> so I had to box it up and sort it out. <laughs> I 
Okay, so how much has this got to go? Chain steel posts. Concrete, electric. Oh my, are you serious? It's level five? The one-way glass is level five. Um, uh, okay, so... I might have to box these up then and do something else. Yeah, the antelope, the antelope needs to be boxed up, basically. storage i don't know how to like just pop them into storage i just put one in there because i want to see if they actually go into storage with that I've never done this before. I've, I've usually just sold the animal and I don't want to sell it unless I absolutely have to. Yes, yes, it just goes into storage. Okay. Okay, so this should get the protesters gone, hopefully. I can't multi-select these, I'm going to have to do them one at a time. So sadly I can't use these until I get the one-way glass because otherwise the protesters are not going to be happy, which is going to bring the zoo down and yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so let's just move them for now. To be honest, the challenge is just to have seven. So I could probably just get away with making them unhappy. I might just move them all back in once I've made that upper enclosure, I don't know. I think that's the last one here. How was your day? It was good. Thank you. Messed around with uh, VTube Studio with the new model that I just picked up. Slowly learning that. Quite complicated actually. I felt like I was doing things wrong but I've only just started using it today so I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, so where do I want the gate for the keeper? Maybe just tucked out the way. On the side. Oops, I'll have to remove some of that actually. Yeah. 
easier to turn the pub, won't it? The pub and I mean, maybe they'll like this. I don't know. I'll put it in this enclosure for now because it, they might like it. If not, I'll move it. Okay, so this is the entrance for the keeper to come in. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Which one is this? <laughs> I don't know which one that one is actually. Maybe this one because there's only one keeper and there's quite a lot of animals. The alert popped away so I'm not sure which one that one is so I'll have to just try and figure that out eventually. Right, okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to do the glass, the viewing glass, which is going to be here. I might actually keep this and that's where I'm going to put one of my contribution bins, that's a good spot for that actually. And then I'll probably put another one just here. Nice. I could actually do another viewing area from behind here but probably won't to be honest with you. I think that one is fine where it is. Okay, so now I need to add food and water, of course, for my animals. while watching the stream. Yeah, I've got proper into this kind of game again, honestly. My addiction. Okay, so I've got three females already and I can have one male. So I'm gonna get this one. bigger than what they need so that's bob on to be honest with you so now i'm gonna need a keeper to 
take care of this. And I'm going to need to give him a new work zone. Him or her, I don't know. thinking where would be best um i don't think they're gonna need um that much but which one's closer i think they're about the same distance honestly but i'm gonna do this okay so that means he will focus on those only. Make sure the tortoise are looked after. Nice. Oh, we're about to have some babies! Oh my god! She's This one's quite old, actually. We're gonna have babies, apparently. You don't see it giving birth, it kind of just does a squat and then the babies just materialise out of the ether. Let's watch it. Damn, that's loud. <laughs> Who's constantly howling? Who started a howl? Who started a howl? God. Animals not in the ideas ideal temperature. Yeah, so I need to sort that out. I only came over here because I wanted to see the babies. Right, so now to figure out what temperature they need. Oh, they don't like that plum either. That's the temperature again. I've lost what the temperature is now. Right, let's just pause it a second because I do need to give them some hard shelter anyway. I don't know, will they like the burrow? I don't... No. So what I like to do is I like to pause it and briefly press play and then it changes. Um... Oh, they 
page. To cover all animals, right, okay. So we need a bigger one apparently, really? That seemed like it would cover them all to me. Guess not, they need more space. Okay. I'm so confused. That is huge for these for these. That is swell big. How come I wonder if they want the burrow that I was on instead? And they don't actually like this, they want the burrow. What's available, so I'm confused. Not calm. It can't be. This must have glitched, surely. fine that's a ridiculous amount of coverage for those small freaking tortoise <laughs> they're not gonna grow any bigger that's insane animal has moderate social welfare issues Okay, so it wants more sand. environment is perfect now now we need to go to the plants so Africa and tropical is what we want so biome is set to tropical that's correct and continent Africa nice so now this will give us all the plants we need I can use because it's quite a green enclosure at the minute. 
maybe some stone actually. Well, no, <laughs> not that big. <laughs> Just move it down. Find one that's not as large. There we go. That's that's the one. Okay, let's see what that's like now. They're still saying it's unavailable. Is it because they can't get into it, maybe? Do I need to lower it into the ground? Like that. <laughs> that dropped even more. I don't understand what is happening with this shelter, that it's not liking it for whatever reason. the bedding is that what it is but it wants bedding I've never had to do this before it's always just accepted these shelters so this is a learning thing for me today I mean out of curiosity I am gonna put the bedding down and see if it accepts it now see if they can get into it because if they can't that might be what's going on I mean that one's got its leg up <laughs> so I think they can climb up though 29% that's 
one to the moment out of two, four, five. Is the space too small? Is that what it's saying? And then the tortoise, but I like turtles. Same. It's on poles, so don't worry, they're not gonna escape. Oh no, it's not on poles actually. Is it? Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> Panic over. Nice. I should have given them enough space now. Okay, that's all jumped up. So yeah, I think because of the space that was being taken off, it said it had they had less space. Temperature, hard shelter, shelter space is critically insufficient to cover all animals. Still don't get why it's saying that, to be honest. Remember where to find the temperature because they're not um, the temperature is wrong for this enclosure, so I'm going to need to either need to put a heater or uh, a cooler. It's probably going to be a heater though, so I'm just going to take a gas and use a heater. covers the whole space. Oh yeah, it's in the green now. Nice. Our shelter, shelter is still in red for some reason though. I really don't get it. I'm probably going to get protesters again now. Animal found. My bear is diseased. That needs to be sorted out. All the puppies are here, the wolf cubs are here, chat. Damn, 
are so loud. I don't know how many babies have been born. Let me just have a quick look. Oh, I've had a, there's been a baby peafowl. I didn't even notice. One, one, one pup chat was born, a, li a little boy. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Will it, Willoughby, is that Willoughby? I don't fucking know, that's such a weird name. I've never even heard that name in my life. But there we are. I just want to go into the animals for a second. See if I can find information. I don't know. It doesn't say... What shelter? And that's gone up to 39% now. I might put a little one over here and just see if it accepts it again. It's probably going to be like the enclosure is too small now. <laughs> Forty two percent is available, insufficient. Okay. Yes, go for the large one again then. or something <laughs> like was I supposed to do an enclosure like underground with a viewing window in it into it or something because this very much feels like that like I'm putting shelters in and we've only got to 61% I mean I think 61% should be fine I don't think we're gonna get protesters over that but I guess we'll see I might make this one nice with bedding as well. Alright, 
let's just pause this because I do actually need to do the information. So for this, hello Matty, how are you doing today? I might just put it aside. I should have enough power in this area. I might have to do another power station. We'll see. I'm good, thank you. Just trying to figure out why these turtles, well, tortoise, sorry, are so complaining about their shelter when there's a ridiculous amount of shelter in this freaking environment. As I say, I feel like I was supposed to build this in an underground area. Is that touching the ground? No, it's not. It's levitating. It is levitating, chat. We can't have that, can we? To me, it just looks like a football. And some some impish little scamp is going to kick it. Okay, so I'm actually going to cheat now. I'm actually going to move one of those antelope back into this enclosure. And hopefully we'll finish this challenge and we can move on to another zoo. <laughs> That's the play. I've got a ridiculous amount of money, so why not? Why not? This is not one I want to keep, so... Right, let's just fast forward. Actually, look, we'll play it normally, because um, people will come and deposit... Our horned friend. Are you playing on PC or console? I'm playing on PlayStation 5. Yeah, I, I've wanted this since it came out on Xbox, but my Xbox is... Don't even ask me what one it is, honestly. It's basically gone to my boyfriend's and lived there ever since. <laughs> so I don't even know what one it is now. Uh, it's not the latest one. I think it's the model before. Whatever that one's called. I've lost track. I'm not really an Xbox fan, to be honest with you. But yeah, I could have got it on PC, I suppose, but I waited for console. <laughs> when I tasked you with building a zoo, I gave you some pretty ambitious targets to hit. But wouldn't you know it, you hit them all anyway. <laughs> I think it's high time we dropped that uh, apprentice from your title, huh? And to be candid... Uh, I'm particularly glad you hit the profit target, as I paid way over the odds for the land. Frankly, the amount I spent per square foot, <laughs> you'd think <laughs> I bought a penthouse apartment with solid gold toilets. <laughs> yes, I snorted. It was worth it, though. Anything to stop the land going to that dreadful hedge fund. Apparently, <laughs> they wanted to parcel it up and sell it off to various mining and energy consortiums. They're the sort of people who'd squeeze the oil out of the Mona Lisa if they could. <sighs> the bears are fighting now. I kind of want to see. I'm going to leave this too, but at the same time, I want to see the bears fight. <laughs> the reason I'm snorting is because he said he paid a lot for the square footage of the land here, and I've made these freaking enclosures for the animals ridiculously larger than they actually need to be. <laughs> Which is something I don't want to do next time. I mean, look. Look. It only needs 825 metres squared and I've done 3,142 for these bears. The bears are treated like royalty. <laughs> yeah, so basically the baby bear has grown up and now the... You know, one of the adults is threatened by the baby. That's the female. That's the male. Oh, that 
think that was the baby, wasn't it? No, Santi. Oh, it might be. Oh, it's the mother. The mother is threatened by the daughter. Okay. Our tale is old as time. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this zoo now and go on to the next scenario. I'm not going to save this zoo because I'm not bothered about it. I, I will eventually make my own zoo when I've gotten used to the mechanics. Nice me too, I've been waiting for this to come to console ever since it first released back in 2019. Same. Are you getting Sea of Thieves as well? Because I've gone all in with Sea of Thieves. I've, I've gotten the most expensive edition and I'm so excited to finally dive in. Steal everyone's booty. <laughs> right, so I'm playing on easy by the way because this is just a chill experience for me. So I'll do the scenario on easy again. Yeah, with those tortoise, I could guarantee I bet they wanted to under the ground. Some I can I can relate to be honest. I can relate. Sometimes I want to be under the ground, hibernating. So this is Safari Zoo apparently. <laughs> I'll get straight to it, shall I? This is our Great Caldera Safari Park. It's been quite a small operation until now, wow. but we've just been donated some land. And so, like my waistline at Thanksgiving, <laughs> we're gonna expand. And I think the best way to finance that expansion is by finishing off our 4x4 Adventure Tour Track ride. It'll oh, be no. a wonderful way to let people safely see wild animals really up close. Although, if you've ever had a mandrel sit on your windshield during one, sometimes it's a little too up close. Yeah. But the main focus of the sanctuary will be breeding and releasing animals of all kinds back into the wild. That's fine. And as it's a sanctuary, we'll also have to take in animals sometimes. Does that all sound simple? Yeah. Good, because there's more. We also need to make sure we educate our guests and achieve a very high conservation rating. Well, that's all. Off you go. So with the educate the guests, I don't think it'll just be the speakers. It's probably going to be hiring staff to do educational talks, I feel like. I wanted to play Sea of Thieves, but I can't afford any more games just yet. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I bought Sea of Thieves, like, whenever it went up for pre-order. And this game was a birthday present, because my birthday was March 29th, so I got this one. Um, I've also picked up Grounded with some of my birthday money, so we're probably going to be checking out Grounded when it comes out next week as well. Literally, like, all the games I'm getting at the minute are games that have come over from Xbox and PC. <laughs> Oh well, they're new to me anyway. <laughs> Release one of ed any habitat species to the wild. Oh, I can do that now, to be honest. What animals are here? We've got elephants. Oh, we've got African wild dogs. Nice. I love wild dogs. So cute. We've got we've got zebra, zebra, potato, potato. However you want to say it. <gasps> Giraffes. Reticulated giraffe. Is that their proper name? I've always just called them giraffes. <laughs> We've also got hyenas as well. Oh, they need to be renamed after the hyenas from uh, The Lion King, to be honest. Spring box. Okay. A load of males and uh, sorry, a load of females and one male. Why did I say a load of males? <laughs> right, I'm gonna release one of these females to the wild, I think. But well, let's just have a look first how many in a herd. Three to thirty five, so that's fine. So that'll be the first challenge done if I release one of those. I don't want to release 
release anything else because this is a massive herd so it makes the most sense to just release one of these and I'm probably gonna release this female so that should be one challenge done nice to build a transport ride of 700 meters increase the education rating to 1.2 stars and have at least 1,400 guests in the zoo. And we're already at 1,292 guests. Damn, not that far, really. There's a different subspecies of giraffe. That makes sense. I mean, I'm not a zookeeper. Uh, well, I'm trying to be, but <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'm a slow learner, but I'll learn. Honestly, I've actually discovered the proper names for various things from playing this game, which has been nice. I'm just gonna take in this suicide pin fan because, like, we've just got here and I wanna, like, look at these gorgeous new animals that I've not seen yet in this game. Look at the elephant! My mum's favourite animal is an elephant, by the way. We've got a couple of statues around the house of elephants with their trunks up. She loves elephants. <coughs> oh, it hurt me! <laughs> It legit hurt me. That's for you, Kylie's mother. <laughs> They're so wise. They're so like caring, and they mourn over their dead ones for like a very long time. They also understand when humans are helping them as well. Like I've seen like multiple videos of like where a baby's gotten stuck and humans have come to help and the the parent has understood that they're here to help and not here to harm. They're just beautiful, wise, gorgeous uh, creatures really. Elephants and rhinos in particular remind me a lot of prehistoric creatures, you know? I suppose it's the skin. The dry skin. Oh, so the zebra, I like to say zebra, not zebra, can be with the elephants. Used to be my favourite animal when I was a kid for a period of time. It's changed a lot over the years. Zebra, flamingos, wolves. Probably the wolf is still one of my all time favourite animals, but I also love bats and I love lynx because that is my spirit animal. So I am very fond of the lynx. Oh, look at the giraffe. I fed a giraffe. I think I've told you all this before. It was definitely an experience, but I was surprised because their tongue is like sandpaper and they coil the tongue around and then they drag the tongue away. So it's a very weird sen sensation to feed a giraffe. But an experience that I'll never forget. Oh, I did a little happy scamper when I came along. Oh no, it's pooing now. <laughs> it looked like it was happy to see me and then it took a bleep. It took a shit. <laughs> what a way to say hello. Guess I have that effect on, on things. <laughs> what else is over here? This is the hyenas. Give me those noises. Oh. Am I weird to say that I find the hyena sound relaxing? Oh, nice. Look at this. I think this is a custom build. This looks like a custom building. This doesn't look like one that you can... Or maybe it's like a later research level. I visited my local zoo the other week. I haven't been to my zoo in a long time. I do need to go. I keep saying, we need to go soon, we need to go soon, and I never do. Oh, 
Okay, so I think I've missed looking at an animal, but I can't see where it is. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Build a transport ride. Where does the track end? The track ends here. Weirdly enough, the game hasn't taught me how to do this. I'm just going to see where the other end is as well. Oh, it's not that far. Okay. Right, how do I... Is it construction? Not construction. Transport rides. Monorail. Oh, okay. So, is it under path? Delete. Place on me of entrance, place on me of exit, connect entrance path. Uh, it's weird that it's threw me into the scenario and not told me actually how to do this, is what I will say. So I am trying to find where the remainder of this, or like how to like finish off this track. It's not under monorail. Because it isn't a monorail. Riverboat. No. Maybe I need to research it. I'm just checking absolutely everywhere, but... should be under transport rides. No, but these are the only two things I've got. I've got monorail and I've got riverboat. So... It's not the same track, is it? Is there an entrance to this somewhere? This is the entrance. That's weird. Yeah, I'm wondering if I have to research it then. Which is just odd because it's already, obviously they've already started to make it. So research has been disabled. Oh, so I can't research it. There's a problem on the adventure tour. I 
I've seen someone else build it, but I can't remember how. It's odd because you'd think it would teach me. But it's not teaching me anything. It's just literally like... Which is weird because... Planet Coaster, whenever it gave you a new thing to do, it would always teach you how to do it. But on this, it's not telling me how to do it, which is just very strange to me. Apparently got a visiting player. Maybe I should look at the other challenges for now, since I can't do that one. Increase education rating to 1.2 stars. So I'm going to guess that there aren't... <laughs> many education boards around. I'm just going to go around the perimeter of this and see. No. So in this enclosure is giraffes. So what I'm probably going to do is put a couple of boards around near these dono boxes. That added 0 0.2. This park has a lot of money, so I'm not too worried about cash right now. On there, and then I'll probably put a number one. Or maybe another two, I don't know. I quite like this park though, I'd be tempted to save this one as one that I take over and continue. Me zoom in any more than this now suddenly i feel like sometimes the controls are a bit jank on on uh, the ps5 definitely sometimes easier on pc Click on the track, yeah, I clicked on the track but nothing happened, it just brought up a menu and it didn't say anything about editing the track or it just said like open or close and that's it. So I'm a bit baffled. Yeah, these aren't increasing it by that much, but uh, something is better than nothing, I suppose. I think what's probably going to do it the most is getting some tour guides on the go, but that's the benefit of that will be when the track is complete, surely. Hey, 
Back up to 0 0.4. Nice. Okay, so they're all up on there. Then it's elephants and zebra all on here. I feel like here is a good play. That's a really good like viewing area here. And also this side. <laughs> Put it to one side, I think. But it's not blocking the view. So for this one, I will do the zebra. Oh, hang on, is there not? There's no power here. Apparently. Oh, is that a tunnel? Oh, nice. Got that forty dollars back. Right, so these are the power locations on the park. So there's quite an area that isn't covered by power here. I really did that in a, in a long way, didn't I? <laughs> I just located one and clicked move to, to find it. You said go to heat lamps. Oh, there we go, yeah, so the tab tells you. Nice. Okay. Where the fuck would I put another one to cover this area though? Because like, it's all raised. I can't do it down because that's enclosures. could maybe fit one in here, I suppose. Oh no, that is covering there. I'm probably just going to have to be picky where I put my signs on and then make sure I'm doing it within the power zones. This park is pretty. Agreed. 100%. It's nice. I'll probably save this and possibly, like, when I know the game better, take it over as one of mine. 
an add to it. I really like Safari Parks. I've only been in the Safari Park once in my life. That's when I fed the giraffe, actually. My mum was panicking when we went through the uh, the monkey area. <laughs> no, I don't want to go in there. They'll pull things off the car. <laughs> So have I put any in and out? No, it's all powered. Okay, that's fine. So really, the only spot... Yeah, that doesn't even cover it either. So th this enclosure with the elephants and the zebra isn't really covered that much by power. There's only this little bit here. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't even touch this edge. And this bit over here. So I guess I'll do... So I'll put a sign here. Then. I'll have to do two signs. One for Zebra and one for Elephants. Yeah, it is a nice viewpoint, I agree. Plus, it's it's near the, the food area, by the looks. Is this, is this the food area? Yes, we've got toilets. Oh my god, the facade on that is so nice. Look at this. Look at the lovely paintings. That's lovely. The lion and everything. And then we've got... Some of the things. Oh, pizza. I love how the staff don't need. There's like no normal door. They just jump over the counter. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it always tickled me. Like when I started playing Planet Coaster as well, it tickled me that they did that. It's like there's no door that exit the exits the back of the building it's just i'm gonna parkour over this counter like an absolute legend and you can't stop me <laughs> yeah i probably don't need as many as i'm doing but when I really get into building like this, I, I tend to just get carried away. Above, above and beyond what the actual targets are of the challenge. Wouldn't be allowed in real life with the health and safety police? Probably not. <laughs> you'd probably get fired, actually, wouldn't you? I bet you, like, if you were seen by your boss doing that, you'd probably get fired. Okay, so I'm probably going to put an elephant one here as well, but obviously I can't put a speaker here. I'll have to do the speaker for the elephants, the other area. And now it won't let me go lower, which is really frustrating. There we go. So, um... So we're just going to have the speaker for the, ze for the zebra. And 
and then I'll put the speaker for the elephants in the other blue zone for this enclosure. It's a good layout, and then they've still got all of this to view them, which is nice. Okay, so let's see where this zone covers. So it touches here. Do you think they're going to complain that they can't see? Well, I'll do it anyway, just in case. To be honest, if I tried to jump a counter in real life, that would be me doing my back in for the next year. I've had problems with my lower back and hips for years. I mean, it's started to ease off finally now, but I'm sure it'll come back. All it takes is getting up slightly too fast at a slightly funny angle, and that's it. My back is like making me pay the price for the next however many months. <laughs> Have you visited a chiropractor? No, I haven't. I don't know if I want to. I've heard horror stories about them as well. To be honest, I've helped myself by doing exercises that I know can help heal issues with your lower back and they have eased off. But I still get the odd twinge here and there. And to be fair, it's probably my own fault for like getting up funny and not taking the time to have proper posture when I'm rising from sitting down. So I'm gonna also put another one here for Zebra as well. I want to move this because it is slightly clipping. It's better. Oh my god, did that put. <laughs> Are you all okay? <laughs> Nice, there we go. So I've met one of the challenges, I think. Increase education rate into 1.2, so hopefully over time that'll go to 1.2. And then all that's left is the ride, and I really don't know how I'm gonna <laughs> do this. My posture is terrible. Honestly, my posture has in improved, but one of the worst decisions I ever made was getting a gaming chair for streaming. That really, really wrecked my back. I've got a much better chair now that actually has better support. But that's when my my major back problem started is when I was using a gaming chair. They're just designed for looks, they're not really designed for support at all. I didn't notice it at first, Matty, honestly. It was like super comfortable when I first got it and then over time I noticed progressively my back was just getting worse and worse and worse. And then I had a horrible summer of really bad back issues and sciatica. I was in so much pain at one point, it was horrible. And then not long after that I got rid of the chair and I got a new chair, which is the one I'm using now. 
can't remember what it e even is called, but it's got an adjustable lumbar support on the back so I can reposition it. Must have been agony. Yeah, it was. I actually went to the doctors about it and the doctor was like, you've got mild sciatica. And I was like, if this is what mild feels like, what is severe? Because I couldn't even bend down and pick things up. <laughs> I didn't want to move. Once I sat down, I didn't want to move. And then the doctor was like, it's mild. And I'm like, that's not for you to decide if it's mild. If I'm telling you I can barely move, it's freaking severe. <laughs> yes, I got issues with my legs, all down the back of my legs. Shooting pains up my back as well and down my sides. And I also had major issues with my feet cramping up as well when that was flaring up. And I told all this to her and she was just like, mild sciatica. I'll show you mild. <laughs> oh, hang on, there's a thing down here. Edit track. Oh, <gasps> found it. Shit, where's the other end again, chat? Over the other side. See it. I don't know if this is going to connect. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope we don't have problems here. But we'll see. get it to like I don't really go to the doctor very often now. <laughs> for me to edit it from here like I feel like it would be easier going from this side it keeps wanting to snap to the other side though connect trap there is an icon there how do I move to it to complete <gasps> oh I did it I did it chat I could have gone around the the, the water that would have been fun but
This is the staff path, I think, but it's all... Is it the staff path? I'm all right. Oh no, it's not. It's not the staff path. Okay. It's normal path. Okay, so normal path can go through here as well. Okay. So increase education rating to 1.2. So that's dropped, weirdly. There's nothing in here either, so... So this is a whole other area that animals can be added. It'd be nice to put some lions in here, actually. Lions would be amazing in this park. At least I think so. <laughs> It would suit this park really well, in my opinion. I absolutely love this section too, this little covered area with the swirly cue path. It's so cute. And this is just like not finished. <laughs> oh, am I meant to finish it? Is that what I'm meant to do? Nice. Um, that track ride is proving very popular with the guests. I'm You're not really giving it. them a taste of Africa's wildlife. <laughs> and when the wind pleases, often a smell too. Listen, I know there's lots more work to do here, but once you've finished, your next project will be something really challenging. Partly because I won't be around to offer advice. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm setting up a venture in the Arctic, which will take up all of my time. I might even get you involved in it one day. Oh, adopt and place two new cheetahs. So that'll be a new enclosure that I have to do then, a new habitat area. Lions are amazing anywhere they are. I love lions. What's your favourite animal? What's everyone's favourite animal? May as well ask the question. Scenario unlocked. Got some new statues as well. I'm just going to be, be real quick because uh, the bath is being run so I can go nip the loo and refill my drink etc. So back in a second. Hard to pick, I love edibles. <laughs> like I said, my favourites changed many times throughout the years, so I get it. Oh, hang on a sec, I'm going to close that window, it's really frigid in here now. 
That's funny that I'm playing a, a zoo that's hot but it's cold in my room. We've been a household with not many pets. We had fish and we had hamsters. But we kind of have had cats in a roundabout way because the neighbours' cats would always come round and sometimes come in the house and sleep and uh, round up my boyfriends, all the cats there as well. They pester us when we're outside and try and sneak in the house. And so, yeah. I've known a lot of cats throughout my life. Marmite, Harvey, Lewis, Sally, Norman, Rosie. There's more. Eric. <laughs> oh, what's the other one's name? I always forget the other one's name. Oh, Thomas is one. Well, there's two Thomas, actually. Because there's my auntie's old cat that was Thomas, and then there was another Thomas as well. And, oh god, what's that black and white one called? Oh, it's going to bother me now. He's a weirdo. I don't think he thinks he's a cat, to be honest with you. He's very strange. He'll run up to you and he'll meow, 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 meow for attention. And then he'll just kind of run off. He'll, he won't let you stroke him. He'll just meow at you loads and then run off. <laughs> I'm like... Okay, do you not want my love? Why don't you want my love? Release any four of any habitat species to the wild. That's another easy one we can do then. Matty, we had two cats called PJ and Duncan. Do you know what were they named after? It seems familiar, I want to say. But I can't place it, so <laughs> you may as well tell me because I'll be gassing all night otherwise. <laughs> I'm really bad with names, to be honest. Like, it's weird. I don't use, like, people around me, I never really use their names. I'm not a names user, <laughs> is what I'm saying. If that even makes sense. I'm like, oi, you! <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I just, you know, don't use people's names. I don't really need to. Unless I'm trying to get their attention and then, then I'll use their names. Oh, the the zebra is Pragorant. Okay. I'm going to release two of these. And then I only need to release two more. So if I just pick two others, I might do... Because we've got babies with the wild dogs, I think I'm okay to release some of the others. So maybe a male. Maybe one male. And then who else can I release? Maybe a zebra. And then that should be the four. And place two new cheetahs. What do they need? They can't be with anything. Oh, they're so beautiful. 705 meters squared. 
Well, this is where my habit of building huge enclosures is going to come in handy, to be honest. <laughs> Always building them far bigger than what the animal needs. I think I might get it about the right size this time. <laughs> You'd have to be in your mid or late 30s or older to know they were Ant and Dax names when they were in Biker Grove. Well, I am in my 30s. I, uh, I just had my birthday, March 29th, 1988. Um, but I didn't watch Biker Grove, so that's probably why I don't know that. I know Ant and Dex, but I don't, you know, I don't know Biker Grove. I don't know the names in it, so... <laughs> Wow, most people don't think I am the age I am. If you look back, I'm not using face cam at the minute because I've been feeling all sorts of ways about streaming and I just wanted to feel a bit more comfortable. But if you look back on my past content, you can see what I look like. But most people think I'm about 27, 28 usually. Still get ID'd on occasion. I look young for my age. Good jeans. <laughs> My mum does though. She looks a lot younger than she is. So, thank you, mum, for giving me your jeans. <laughs> right. Um. I don't feel young though. <laughs> to go back to the back problems again. Some days I feel very old. <laughs> Anyway, where am I going to put this uh, habitat? It's probably best going where the track is, isn't it? So... I just want to carefully look at this a second. So there, there are fences all the way around. And doors. Um, and there is, yep, yeah, there is a door there. So I would need to fence this off, wouldn't I? Thinking about it. Can't just have it just randomly in there. That wouldn't make any sense. That's where sh oh right, okay. That's an empty building to put like a shop or something. Didn't really watch it but I had two older sisters who did. I remember a lot of cartoons from my younger days, like Ren and Stimpy, Rugrats, Recess. Oh, what was the other one? And then of course like things like um when I was younger, things like Beyblade and Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. I mean I still watch anime now, but I've kind of gone on a hiatus with anime. Hey Arnold, that's the one. Hey Arnold, yes. Hey football head. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the best place to do it. I'm trying to like decide where to connect this up because there's some path here, which is normal path. So this could be where people can walk in and view as well. I might just do it this side, honestly. I've not really done enclosures with water in, like will the animals i know well the bears went in the water on the last one i did but i'm hoping that the cheetahs won't drown <laughs> i feel like something bad is going to happen but we'll see right. okay anyway i think i'm gonna do it Uh, 
where I am. Power needs to be over here, really. Somewhere. To power some science. Because this is a good viewing platform. So I feel like it should be this side. Because then they can come up here and view from up here. And this is good. And then like a path coming round the edge as well. So some people can view... Uh, from lower down. Or maybe that should just be st changed into a staff path. That might be better, actually. And then I can wall it off. Alright, let me just bring up the cheetahs again. Oh, lions! Don't show me lions! I need to get cheetahs! Don't tempt me, game! <laughs> Don't dangle the, the lion in front of me. I love Keenan and Cal, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah, sister, sister as well. Sister, sister. No, cheetahs don't need water. So I don't have to include the water if I don't want to. I just thought it would look nice to have it in the enclosure as well. Grade 2 boundary. Doesn't need to be climb proof. That surprises me actually. 2 metres high, grade 2 boundary. I'll probably just match it up. Promiscuous. Promiscuous mating system. So I'm thinking of putting a power source here and changing this to staff path. Or I could just put another one. I could just legit tuck it in here and change this to staff path connecting to this. Do you watch nature documentaries? I do actually. We've got a lot of the uh, planet Earth stuff, the Attenboroughs and all that. I used to watch a lot of that stuff when I was a kid as well. Like, I used to beg my mum and dad to let me stay up and watch it. David Attenborough is a national treasure and I'll be absolutely devastated when he goes. That man is just amazing what he has done to highlight the strife of animals all around the world is just phenomenal so yeah just like a, a turn this into a staff access basically let's see how this goes um Silicis. Electric. <laughs> I 
I don't think they're going to get upset. It's quite far away from the path, so they shouldn't mind, I don't think. Do you think that's far enough away? Tucked away? Or do you think they're going to whinge? <laughs> I know what they like. They're like, oh, it's hideous. Take it away. I don't like it. Is this the habitat game? Thinking about it. The barrier. Is it? Guest gate. Oh, it's a guest gate. I'll just change it to a habitat gate then. I was gonna say where's the, the keeper gate or you know. Gas gate. Oh golden track now. I don't want to cascade it into the cheater enclosure. Well, depends. If they've been caught robbing in my park, they might find themselves accidentally placed in the cheater enclosure. Accidentally, I uh, quote. <laughs> There's no lot massive. Um, okay, I don't know. Maybe I should just do a small one then. It deletes the wall, so I'm a bit. Habitats have become merged. God, are there gates in the other ones for the keepers or not? Because like, how are they getting in? Oh, there's one. Which door is that? Can I... I don't barrier. Okay, yeah, I get it. I, was, I must have just been selecting the wrong one, I guess. It's because it doesn't go all the way across, so if I just... Oh yeah, and then... not working the way I want it to. I don't know why it's not working. Why won't they connect? This is not how it normally goes. I 
I don't understand why that won't click together for some reason. There should be larger habitat gates. doesn't want to connect. It won't let me connect these walls up and I don't know why. I need to do the wall across and then put the gate on. That's how I normally do it and it's wanting me to do it another way and it won't let me. <laughs> why won't it let me? literally saying no. You know what I'm going to do then? I'm just going to rebuild the wall. Try and stop me then. Try and stop me now. was way more complicated than it need to be, needed to be to be honest but yeah <laughs> we got there in the end that's what matters you need a workshop oh we don't have a workshop really where would be a good place for a workshop how about here connected to all of this Seems like a good spot, in my opinion. Ever zoomed inside these places you can actually go in you know i have actually gone in while there's been two staff members inside and just watched them have a chat <laughs> get back to work is it not wanting to snap to that that's weird because it did actually uh oops. I have to do it a bit set back so that the path will snap properly, that's fine. That's quite cute because it's nestled between the trees. There we go, that's fine. Love the music in this game, same. <laughs> Same. Right, we need to change this path to a uh, staff path, actually. Nice, there we go. Okay, so... 
with the cheetahs then it needs to connect to that door all the walls have to connect for it to count as a habitat for an animal doesn't it because when i've tried to just use like something like this, like a, an actual side of a hill or a cliff or a mountain, it doesn't count it, so you still have to build the wall, basically. sure now about that being there. I'm wondering whether it would be better being over here, you know? Just because if I do the edge of the enclosure all the way over here, then the cheat is going to be really far away from this track. Mind you, that's the look of the jaw, isn't it, really? You can't guarantee the animals being quite, like, super next to the track at all times. I could also fill in some of that water, I suppose. Yeah, you can put the wall within the, the actual mountain, can't you? That is an option. Right, what was the size again? 350? they've disappeared now <laughs> after all that they've disappeared i think it was not 350 750 350 that's barely i think 750 i'm pretty sure already fence around that edge do you see it oh yeah i never noticed that until i started building or is that just the perimeter of the uh the zone that i've got available oh, anyway anyway okay I don't know how to do it because every time I angle it in it just tilts upward. Angle snap is off, height snap is off. Follow terrain. Oh there we go, that's how you do it. Follow terrain and you, then you say no. Okay. Right, this is my first time doing this so... <laughs> Lessons will be learned. Probably going to be the most ugly enclosure you've ever seen. That is such a large mass of uh, water. Do I go around it or do I go through it? Let's just put that one out so I know where the edge of that is for now. Yeah, so that's like a chain link, which I could just do along the edge, I guess. Let me fill in the water. Yes, it will. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna fill it in. Not, like, totally, but... It's not actually letting me. <laughs> it's not letting me remove this water. Select water. Oh, okay. Uh, Let me do that. Flatten to foundation. No, that's not what I want. I was trying to use the pull command to raise it, but it won't do it for me. Evie, hello, welcome in. So I'm guessing that I don't have full access to this in this scenario. Because it will not let me raise this land to get rid of some of this water. I wanted to harve it at the very least, I think it is such a massive bit of water for what should be a cheater enclosure which really should be mostly land really remove the water yeah but it won't let me see so select remove water and I'm clicking and it's not doing anything, it's not selecting it at all. I'll select, select water and then it just takes me to this which has no... No water setting for me to remove the water. Demolish is greyed out so it won't let me remove it. So I'm guessing that some of the features of the terrain on this scenario are locked so I can't like terraform properly. Because this is a challenge, like a story challenge isn't it? So some features are restricted usually for the challenge. So I'm guessing that. I hope you're well Evie. Okay then, I guess I'll just have to keep the water. Finding the controls really finicky today for some reason. Things that I was doing yesterday without problem today have been a problem. I'm trying to connect to this freaking fence! Oh my god! Why is this so difficult? Mouse and keyboard probably would have been better. Right, that's a cross. Build! Thank you, Christ. There we go. So the enclosure is going to be much bigger, obviously, but that's because a lot of it is water, so. Okay, 
so I'm probably gonna do a wall around. I'm hoping this is gonna be big enough. If it's not, it's gonna have to be edited, obviously. What are you going to do about the track? Well, it's running through the enclosure. I'm going to have to do another wall across the track to create another doorway leading into another enclosure. So it's going to be a chain of enclosures. And then the plan is to continue building this out, running through as well. And then, I don't know, try and connect it up somehow. This is, this is actual path, so maybe connect it to here. loop it around and do probably like a, a higher up viewing platform as well something like that I just wish I could remove that water because this this is gonna be huge now because I mean I suppose I could cut through it I could like half the water I mean, let's try that. Let's see. wins the race. Most enclosures I've built so far have been very basic and simple so you know at the end of the day it's very much a learning process so I watched some YouTube tu tutorials that were very helpful. I mean, I'll probably watch some of them if I get super stuck, but I'm quite enjoying just like learning it myself. If I get super frustrated, I'll uh, I'll definitely check that out. Oh no, that is not what I wanted. Was that glass I just selected? Yes, it was. <laughs> Oops. No wall. What to define the perimeter of a habitat? Hang on. Define the perimeter of a habitat where a barrier isn't needed. A river. A river for animals that can't swim. Oh no way! That's what that is. Oh my god! I did not realise that. I could have been doing that all this time. What is this? What 
type of wall is that? I can't seem to find the same wall. Claims it's brick, but it doesn't look like brick to me. Oh, that's what I meant about the invisible wall. <laughs> and there was me thinking you meant just clip the wall through the mountain so you, it can't be seen. <laughs> I suppose, you know, it's the same thing, except obviously the null wall is free. So, yeah. Glass, concrete. Yeah, it's, um. It's not here. So. It's because I extended an existing wall. So I had access to it, but now I don't have access to it because I'm not extending an existing wall. I've changed what the wall is to the chain link in the water. So, yeah, that's not great really. Uh, I've also just realised that I might need to... Oh, I can do it later. It's fine. It's fine. assumed you'd be able to build across it and then create the, uh, the door. So... Because the track is there. But then how do you build... A, a, a freeway then if you can't build a wall across it and the barrier well the door should I say the airlock for the track doesn't snap to the track that makes no sense to me It should just snap onto the track and then you can connect walls to it. Surely. How are you meant to. Can you only build the track after you've already placed the barrier? Am I meant to delete this section or something? Try it, but that's, that seems like so counterintuitive to me. I just let you build a wall across and then add the freaking gate. <laughs> like, surely. I've lost 
just where I am now. Where I am. Not built a track yet. Okay, I'm gonna try. Entrance path. All right, okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh, edit track. Just delete this section. Oh shit. Oh shit, no. <laughs> oh, it's either all or nothing, really. Why can't I just delete a section? Okay, I think I'm on the right thing now. I think. Who knows? Who freaking knows? Wish the game had taught me this beforehand, to be honest. But, you know. I don't know what it's doing. I really don't know what it's doing. It's not doing what I want it to do, though. Controls can be frustrating at times. It's probably easier on a mouse and keyboard. I feel like this specifically would be so much easier on a mouse and keyboard, but it would be fine. Select an item and use add to section to select multiple items. Save as blueprint. It would be fine if the game taught actually taught me how to do what I'm trying to do. Well, it's confusing to teach me that, so I'm having to basically teach myself, which means fumbling with the controls and not knowing how to do things. Delete section. <laughs> keeps deleting this. It keeps like not deleting the area I'm selecting and deleting this bit. Oh my god, I feel like banging my head against the brick wall right now. This brick wall, to be precise. <laughs> I don't I just don't know how to build through like obviously you can because that is how it all connects Does it have to be this same wall is that is that what it is But then if that's the case, I'd have to research. I'd have to research barriers, wouldn't I? Which is the third level for concrete. I mean, I'll put someone on it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to have the wall matching, wouldn't it? Rather than a different colour.
I legit don't think the only wall you can build one of these safari gates on is concrete though. Like brick should be fine as well. No, it's not. It wants to delete the whole thing. Oh! <gasps> Did I do it? Oh! I did it! I had to hold the button again. I don't... Right, hang on. How did I do that? Let me just do that again. Right. Gonna be able to jump over that, aren't they? I feel like they are. I have had animals escape. <laughs> I do not want that again. That's because I messed up with the uh, wall height. Okay, let's see if this works. The land area is ridiculous for the cheaters. <laughs> Once again, done way too much land for these animals. I probably got could have gotten away with like half this, really. I've invested too much to change it. <laughs> Oh my god! Is that central? Wooden track. Glass. Track hour. Oh my god. I think... Oh wow. It's a Christmas miracle! Oh. Obstructed! I don't understand! Why? It will not let me complete the track. How are you meant to complete the track then? You can't do it with a wall across. You can't do it with the actual gate across. The only way it connects is to a track of nothing there, but then you can't build the gate on top and you can't build the wall on top. Hold X. Yep, I'm doing it. Nothing's happening. Oops. 
Autocomplete failed. It won't let me. What the hell, man? Why is this so complicated? Oh my god. Well, I've got 15 minutes left. I don't think I'm going to do this. I really wanted to finish this enclosure and get the cheaters in here, but I don't think it's going to happen, chat, to be honest with you. I don't understand this. I feel like there should have been a tutorial for this, at the very least. Uh, place or move entrance, place or move exit. Okay. Like, why? The track, the track is under this gate. The track is finished. Definitely check out some tutorials, videos on YouTube, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to specifically for this. Because <clears throat> as it stands right now, I'm just... figuring it out as I go on I really uh, I was just wondering if there was a way to open the gate and then you complete the track and then you close it but I don't know I don't it's, that just doesn't make sense to me that just seems like a convoluted method of doing things really Out of curiosity, I'm going to try I'm gonna try doing it this way now, now that the wall is the right length um, for the gate Obstructed. Like it does it on that fine. Let's start with curiosity. Yeah, okay. I don't understand what the problem is. It should just work.
habitats can only have one habitat gate. In instances where a habitat has managed to obtain more than one gate, deleting a wall, separating two habitats and merging them into one, the habitat will have become invalid. To resolve this, one of the gates must be deleted. This can be achieved in the barrier editor. I don't think that's the cause, to be honest. I'm just as puzzled as you. <laughs> I thought we're playing a zoo management game, not a puzzle game. I'm just wondering if... No, because like we can see here, right? So it's not the type of wall because in this help section that airlock is wood so it's not that it has to be a concrete wall so it's not to do with that so that's confirmed by this very image in the help tutorial section so i don't know is it that i've accidentally merged two enclosures is that the issue if that's the case i don't see how Because the wall is all the way around. The wall is fully connect connected. The perimeter is set up. So it's definitely not that. I'm probably going to have to watch a video on this and get it fixed. Because I, I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm clearly doing something wrong though. It's saying yes to anywhere but where the track is. You just think that you could just build it over, honestly. Like, to me, that just seems like a quality of life that, you know, make sure the track is between the doors, between where it opens, boom, done. You didn't delete the outer perimeter that was already there. Hold on a second. Uh, how do I bring that up though? I didn't connect to that though. I connected to this, which was the wall that was already there, and I've just... See what I mean? Like it's not connected to that at all, so it shouldn't be counting it. This is this is fully counted as a habitat because it says the land area. Must have auto deleted when you created a new perimeter. Yeah, because it's not highlighting now, so I'm assuming so. It's weird, isn't it? Because, like, I can't complete the track if the barrier's there, and I can't put the barrier down if the track's there. So, like, what... What are you meant to do? Legit don't understand. It says yes there. about like oh, 
I was just wondering like if I came to edit track if there was like an option on there that would be like place place a gate basically on track or something but there isn't Curiosity. See, I deleted the one that's there, but that works in that spot. Okay, so it's nothing to do with what I've created it's that I'm trying to apply it incorrectly I don't know how else you apply it though because I've just deleted the existing one and I've just selected the exact same gate and it will not let me place it over this section of track despite there being one so there we go it's the exact same gate and it won't let me place it for whatever reason so obviously I'm trying to do this in an incorrect way and I legit don't know how I'm meant to do it to be honest with you because it doesn't tell you in the help section at all try it in sandbox mode yeah but you can't change to sandbox mode and then hang on save zoo I see what I see the point you're making. Let's let's see. Let's see. But the thing is though, I can't I won't be able to change it back, will I? won't count it. Ooh. Trolls as planet zoo then. Let's see. Let's see if it'll let us do it. If it lets us do it in this mode, then that's just really weird. Like, why is it overcomplicating doing something that should be easy? Like, it shouldn't be restricting the controls based on the scenario, really. So, my two cents on that. complicating things. Multiple animals with low welfare. Really? Why? Let's just pause it. <laughs> it's because I've spent so long doing this that basically things have fallen. Anyway, I just want to get this done. That's all I want. Nope. Doesn't allow it. Oh my god.
Ooh. Oh, not the, that note, it is the time to end the stream chat. I'll just click resume for now because this music is really loud on this starting screen, so I'll just go back and see. too many gates because if you recall if there was too many gates I wouldn't be able I would be able to simply delete an existing gate and place the exact same gate in the exact same spot but it doesn't let me so this particular method is not the way of placing the airlock for whatever reason that I do not understand. So what I'm going to assume is that I'm just not allowed to place more gates in this scenario, which makes no sense to me. Because cheetahs can't go in with any other animal. They need their own enclosure. So, like, I'm not going to give them all this space. That's ridiculous. So, there's clearly something I'm not getting. Something I'm not doing right here. And I will have to check that out off stream, basically. Because I don't know what I'm streaming Thursday yet. It's either going to be more Planet Coaster... Continuing to build cute candy creatures, or we will continue with Planet Zoo. Although, I'm probably going to want to play... Will I play Planet Zoo tomorrow? I don't know. I'm, I might actually do um, some Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow, in my own time. And maybe save more Planet Zoo for the next stream if we're going to do more. So I am enjoying Planet Zoo quite a lot, so it would be fun to stream it a bit more. Anyway... Thank you all for watching. It's been super fun and super... For the most part, it's been super chill until we got stuck on that barrier. Well, the barrier was the barrier, funnily enough. <laughs> Pun absolutely intended. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. I've had a good time today. It's been nice and chill. I hope you've all enjoyed the show. As I said, I am in the process of working on having a uh well like, just like a cheap pre-made model or something rather than it just being commentary just because like i'm i've been in in a bit of an odd mood with streaming recently and uh, i'm not feeling like face cam at the minute so i just think it might be nice to have a character on screen as well that represents me in a way I'm working on it. I don't know. It might be a while until it's done. I want to make sure it's good, whatever it is. So, yeah, don't expect it for the next stream because tomorrow I think I, I did it all day today. Uh, trying to figure out VTuber Studio and stuff, and I'm still not au fait with it. So I need to get to grips with it a bit more. So I don't want to rush doing it. I want it to be nice and ready. So yeah. Um. But yeah. Thursday will be the next stream, 6pm UK time. It's either going to be more Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster. And then next week we're probably going to be checking out Grounded. I would like to get a model ready for next week. But I also kind of think I might just go back to face cam next week. So we'll see how I feel. Um, but I know I'm going to have Monday to myself. And I know I normally stream on Mondays, but Grounded isn't out till Tuesday, so I'm thinking of moving my streaming days next week to Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly Thursday to cover Grounded on release. So I would have Monday to myself to work on my model, basically, which I would probably just spend all day on. So that's also an option. So basically, I'm just letting you know what the plan is. <laughs> Whatever you're most comfortable with. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, 
I did look at have a look around, but so many use AI and I don't want to support models that use AI and all the ones I liked used AIs. But I have found one that's just a cat. Not a cat girl, just a cat. And I'm in the process of making it look like my channel mascot Lewis, which are the emotes we have on the channel. Um, but instead of Lewis, it will just become me because then the emotes will just be my model, basically. <laughs> so... <laughs> I've almost got it spot on, actually, in the editor. It's almost identical to the emote, so... Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for trying to help me out, Matty, figuring stuff out together. Nice to uh, speak with you today and everyone else lurking. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we will be back on Thursday, so stay tuned. Don't forget to check out all the ways to support the channel on the Twitch panels and also the video description on YouTube if you're watching over on there as well. We have Discord via Patreon, we have lots of behind the scenes access via uh, Patreon and also other links and loads of ways to support the channel, emotes for subscriptions on Twitch and also membership on YouTube. So yeah, I'll be back on Thursday, but thank you so much everybody, take it easy, love love love. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.